Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my trail, marathon, training and racing guide. So this video includes tips for how to actually fuel yourself whilst you're running, but also what kinds of foods to eat whilst you're running too. There are so many different products and foods out there, but one food or product that might work for one person may not work for another. So I've had the pleasure of trialing and erroring so many different products and nutrition foods out there and I've finally come to a system that actually works for me so I'm going to share that with you as well. Now the reason you need to know how to fuel yourself whilst you're running is because if you're going to be running a marathon there's no way you can just stock up on food before the race and expect that food to last you throughout the whole entire race. So it's really important to be prepared when it comes to fueling yourself and having a plan in place to be able to do that. Nutrition is something that can be very difficult to get right and you'll probably find that you'll need to trial and error various products to find the one that works for you. Some issues being nausea, gut bombs and even code browns, yes these are all real ultra running words, <laughs> go look them up later if you want. But my point is if you can't fuel yourself during a trail marathon then you're going to really struggle come race day because you need fuel to keep going essentially. So you need to be able to take on fuel whilst you're running. So personally, when it comes to fuel for running, I like to go as natural as possible and I don't like sugary products. Sugar in your nutrition causes spikes in energy levels and those spikes are relatively short lived and that's not what you want when you're endurance running. You wanna be keeping a steady energy level throughout your whole race and even your training runs. If you're struggling with your nutrition and you're not really sure which one to go for, I personally would recommend one called Tailwind Nutrition. Now that's a powder that you can literally mix with water and that should provide all your carbohydrates and fuel for the race. A great thing about Tailwind Nutrition is it's a powder so you can get the small individual packs of Tailwind Nutrition which you can take with you in your hydration pack during race day and also on your training runs. So it's a very convenient way to carry your nutrition and it's very lightweight too. One of my biggest pieces of advice would be don't overlook natural foods. Just because they're not branded or marketed does not mean that they do not work for ultra running. So many people, many vegans in fact, use natural foods during races and they swear by it. Myself, I'm not 100% vegan, I'm a plant-based athlete. Now what that means is I'll occasionally eat some organic fish and chicken but not all the time and this is very much a treat for me. What my main diet is, is whole food plant-based. And the great thing about that is you're not really mixing your foods with sauces and all kinds of things that you don't know what is in there. And that's the whole point of whole food plant-based diet, is it's natural, it generally comes out of the ground, grows on trees and you know what you're getting. So as a general rule, these foods are gonna be good for you. So a quick rundown of the sorts of food I'm gonna be eating on race day. About one hour before the race starts, I'll have a banana. Bananas are excellent slow release energy foods and I absolutely love them for racing with. I'll also have bananas at aid stations too. Many aid stations will provide sliced bananas so I always stock up on that and uh, take them on to go with me. So some other natural foods that work really well for me during trail marathons and even ultra running include dried apricots, nuts, so that includes things like almonds, and hazelnuts I really like as well. And oils as well, so olive oil. If you can think of a way of storing it, maybe get a small vial. Olive oil is amazing and so is peanut butter. A Couple of really amazing foods for you to take with you. Take care when you're eating nuts whilst running because they are very dry food, so make sure you've got some water to wash them down with. Now natural foods are really great for endurance running, but they don't last very long in the pantry. So if you're training a lot, you've got to make sure that you're constantly restocking your pantry. And that's a pro for Tailwind Nutrition, is it does last a long time and you can store multiple packets of the stuff at home and uh, know that you've always got some stored away that you can just take with you on a training run or for your race. Are you susceptible to muscle cramping whilst training or racing? Well, I can definitely help you there too. So when I first started endurance running, it was in the summer and I noticed myself getting muscle cramping so often. So the main cause of muscle cramping is not having enough hydration and losing salts through sweating as well. And this would really annoy me because during the last 30% of a race, I would always find myself cramping up and then I'd have so many people running past me. And I'd been doing really well at this stage through so many of my races, but to see so many people then just overtake you is so demoralizing. So I had to figure out how to fix this issue. And this is what I do. 
So now I have this product called Salt Stick Tabs and that's essentially these small little tablets filled with salts and electrolytes. So if I ever feel like cramping's coming on during a race or a long training run, then I will take one of these tablets straight away as soon as I feel that kind of tingling in my muscles and I feel like it's coming. And if you've had cramping before, you'll know exactly what that feels like too. So as soon as I take that tablet, it starts acting within five minutes and it usually catches the cramp before it happens. So it's an excellent preventative measure. So going back to my plant-based diet and lifestyle, I started this about five years ago now, and it's been really beneficial to my general mood and performance for ultra running too. Now I've learned never to push any kind of diet or lifestyle on anyone. People need to really learn about it themselves from multiple sources to get their own opinions. So I've written an article on trailandkale.com all about our favorite plant-based diet documentaries, and they're really informational, and I think you're gonna really wanna try it out for yourself after watching some of these. So I'll put a link up here now. Definitely go check that out. And most of these documentaries are either on Netflix or Amazon. So if you're subscribed to one of those platforms already, then it's free viewing for you. And I think you'll really enjoy it and gain some insights into this new world. So eating far less meat and dairy products actually will make you feel more energized and give you a much steadier mood level throughout the day. If weight loss is your thing, then eating more plants is really gonna help with that as well. The plant-based diet can actually save you money as well because plants are often cheaper than meats. Two other great reasons for giving it a go are one, it is very great for the sustainability of our environment, and two, animal welfare. Animals are gonna get a much better life if they're not farmed for food. If you just wanna give the plant-based diet a try, I have put together a daily meal plan, which is really great for runners. It gives you lots of energy and it's very easy to make as well. I've put that together on trailingkill.com, so just follow that link up there and uh, try it out for yourself. Well, that's a little bit about nutrition, how to do it whilst you're running, what kind of foods to eat, and also my tried and tested foods that I eat myself whilst running too. I hope it provided some insights into the sorts of food that you can be eating. Yes, you can do all this on a plant-based diet as well. And hopefully some of those links will help guide you in the right direction to maybe trying it out for yourself. If you do give it a go, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion. The next video is all about how to avoid overtraining injuries. And please, on any of these videos, if you've got any questions for me, just drop it down in the comments down below and I'm usually very fast to reply. So click the next video and let's get started.